Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about how you can delete the old logs, old auditing logs basically. Uh, so most of the time you will see the situation where we need to delete the old logs after 7 days or 9 days or you can delete the logs after 30 days. If you are not deleting that old auditing logs, uh, sometimes you will find that you are not, uh, you will not be able to connect to the database itself because your mount point is getting filled. So in that situation what we can do, uh, these are all things we are going to learn practically. So this is my server and let me check if the database is open. So here I can see the database is open. Uh, let me connect to the SQL plus utility. Here I am using the Oracle 12C. So first of all we are going to check where these auditing files are going. So we are using the command show parameter audit and it will give you the path where the current auditing files are going. So here you can see current it is going to the slash data mount point. Okay. And let me go there and see what exactly it is there and use the command like ls lrt to check the number of files. So here I can see there are multiple files are there starting from uh, December 12 and the current date is 25. So what I'm going to do, I will delete this file starting from maybe uh, before 3 or 4 days okay and rest of the file I will delete it so I'll keep only 3 days file uh, maybe 22, 23, 24 and 25 and rest of the file I will delete it so that uh, if I'm deleting this auditing file definitely you will see uh, some free space available currently if I'm going to check the utilization of these files so each file is coming around 8 KB and since it's uh, just uh, I'm uh, installing this uh, Oracle software on my personal system you will not see much auditing file but if you observe the extension it is showing as .aut but if you are working in the production environment definitely you will see a huge amount of auditing files because we can enable the auditing based upon the OS level and database level itself okay so do you have an sh and dot to check the current utilization so the total size of the auditing file is coming around 28 MB okay so let me try to drop this let me try to delete this so this is the one command which will help you to delete the auditing at this point I am going to delete uh, the modified date with 4 okay so it will delete all the files which is older than uh, 4 days before this current date okay find and here we need to specify the path of your auditing so currently auditing file is going to this location so let me copy it and paste it over here okay and hyphen name is a parameter which will basically search for the file name star dot aud star means uh, we don't consider any name but we are mainly focusing about dot aud okay so any file which is available in this location with the extension of dot aud okay and the modified time here it is showing at plus 4 it means current date minus 4 all the files it will delete older than 4 days okay and here I am going to execute the command like rm space f okay so let me try to run this command and let's see if it is getting deleted the older files okay and I have just fired this command so let me see uh, how many files are there okay so if you see here I don't see any files up before the December 20 previously there were some files before the December 20 itself here you can see December 17 files were there but now there are no files okay do you happen sh dot Previously the utilization it was showing as 28 MB but now it is showing it as only 11 MB. So this is how you can delete the auditing file if you are in that situation. Okay, So please try to take the uh, appropriate approval before deleting the auditing file because that is all depend upon the business. So if you have the proper approval and if you are good to delete the files definitely you can use this concept 
you can use this auditing uh, unix level command to delete your auditing files apart from this from 11 jar to uh, oracle also provided few packages by using that packages you can also uh, configure your job in the cron tab and you can delete the auditing files older than your date so this is all possible with the help of these things thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video is helpful for you if you are looking for training definitely you can reach out to me you can follow me on linkedin you can follow me on instagram and twitter itself okay so thank you bye bye for the day see you again with the next video bye bye